Like many homeowners, Candace and Guy love the fun part of decorating. Did you do this yourself? Isn't it pretty? But they're drowning in a sea of neglected repairs. And they don't have a clue how bad it really is. It's sickening. There's no good wood here. It's time for a wake-up call. This is dry rot. That is amazing. As I shock them into action, we have a plan. Ooh. I'll show them how to love their home the right way. I'm Christy Hansen, a contractor and a plumber. I know life gets hectic, but that's no reason to neglect your home. So I'm stepping in to help these home wreckers. And there will be no plumber's crack in our next segment. <laughs> uh, our next uh, guest don't woo, is anything. a plumber and general contractor. She also happens to be the, uh, the host of a brand new show called Home Wreckers. Christy Hansen, how are you? Hi, Christy, how are you? Oh, I'm great. Hi. Oh, I like that little applause. Hey, well, it's nice to see you <laughs> He again. doesn't do that for everybody, you no, know? Well, and, and last time, uh, we hadn't actually seen the show yet. You guys were in production and everything, and now we've seen it. And uh, I'm both uh, enticed and appalled by people's homes, man. <laughs> Explain the concept of the show. Well, it's really about people who feel just, they're so overwhelmed with their home, they they have neglected it to a point where it frightens them or they feel like, ah, this house is doing yeah. something well, to me. Well, let's take the couple that we just saw as an mm -hmm. example because we first saw their kitchen, which was impeccably beautiful, oh, gorgeous. modern, obviously just oh, redone, yeah. all new appliances, and then we look out back and their deck wasn't just <laughs> wow. uh, falling apart, it was actually dangerous. Absolutely. Absolutely, it was, it, and it was the front of their house. Well, we're looking at the footage right now. Maybe you can explain what we're looking at. So this is the front of the house. Uh, this is their deck, and it was just a, you know, hey, nobody go on here. That deck right. is the off zone. Like, stay away their from kids, this. Their kids knew not to go out on that deck because they might fall through it. Yeah, but you know what? It's so much more than that because people think, oh, this is an outside space. I can let this go. Uh, they're forgetting that actually this is tied to the inside of your house. Yeah. This shares structure. So even though that's an outdoor space, it's sharing indoor so structure. So if they had dealt with the problem, which is a little tiny hole, when it first scratch. started, a little scratch, if they had dealt with that in the beginning, how much money would have it cost compared to what they had to spend? I said 20 bucks. In reality, 35 cents. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not kidding. You, you overshot it. And because and how they much money did it, they have to spend? Neglected it. It ended up being like, was it $14,000? Yeah. It was a few months ago that I did yeah, that. 15, yeah, 15, and then uh, you knocked some off for labor because you made them work on it. To, Definitely. <laughs> to do it. Uh, how common is this, though? I mean, because... You know, Fiona mentioned you go in there and their kitchen is, is beautiful, it's impeccable, they've done a ton of work on it, they've done mm -hmm. it all themselves, so it's not like they aren't capable, and yet they focused on that and let everything else go. Because that didn't count. The deck doesn't count. That's outside. And what they needed was that one space in their house that was safe and comforting. And this is what people do. They're like cling to, I just need this one safe zone where I can operate yeah. and everything else can go so to hell. I'm going to put in a home theater, but I'm not going to replace my roof. Exactly. This is what <laughs> will make you a home wrecker. <laughs> and you know what the weird thing about the whole roof thing, because that's quite common. People try and push that as far as they can because they're scared oh, of that right. bill. And Look at what you're doing to the roof, though. Like, you're yeah. actually squeezing. It's rotten. Uh, fingers. Like, and it's like a sponge. Exactly. exactly. Like, it took no effort to peel hands. it off. It just, like, melted in my hands as soon as I touched it. And then to be able to, like, wring it, <laughs> wring it out, it's like, where Are do you think? Are people just scared shape. of dealing with these problems yes. because they're scared of contractors and money and budgets it's, overrunning? It's actually more than that. It's that they're scared to put lots of money into something that doesn't have a lot of instant gratification. Right. When they you don't do look a at kitchen, when you do a kitchen, you're like, oh my god, I love to entertain in here. I love to cook. When you get a new roof, you go, yeah. Well, the other old one wasn't leaking. Actually, as soon as you see the first detection that it is leaking, like I pointed out on that episode. Yeah you are about five years too so late. what's the process when you walk into someone's house uh, on the show or even in your profession? Are you looking for that little uh, stain on the ceiling? Are you looking for that little hint that things do have you, gone awry? Do you know what my favorite thing about this show is, and it's something I've had to push for from the very beginning, was that everything on it is really real. When I'm meeting the people and I'm meeting the house... You haven't seen the house before. The cameras are rolling. This is the first time <laughs> I've seen it. This is the first time I know anything about it. I'm going in 
in and blindly troubleshooting. So, so when we're seeing water dripping down from the ceiling, that's not staged. It is really no, what is going on in this that's house. That's me seeing it for the first time as well, and nobody has told me about it. <laughs> so I'm just going in there and see, you know, I don't know what I'm going to find. I have people who sort of case it out first. My contractor, Gordon, he's, um, he's the one who goes there and figures out, oh, yeah, this is a good candidate, but I don't get information from him going right. in. Yeah. So when I see a little spot on the ceiling, that's the first time I've seen it, and I'm going, oh. Oh my God, you guys! You're hooped, and you're proud of yourself you're that you that you let. <laughs> Is that your professional term? That's a professional term. term. You are hooped. <laughs> that you. The, he was proud of himself that it, ten years longer was what he got out of that roof. He said, ten years ago, I was told to replace that roof. Probably a hundred percent <laughs> damage. <laughs> That's right. Yeah. Um, but. They said something really interesting, and I think this is probably common for most people, is, is even though they weren't acknowledging that this was a problem, it was in the back of their mind all the time. And they said, you know, well, when it rains, I don't sleep because I'm thinking about this problem. That's right. Uh, and, and I think that's fairly common for a lot of homeowners is they know something's sense. wrong. It's your common sense niggling at you and saying, that's not okay. <laughs> this is dangerous. <laughs> Below that deck was inside of their house. Chaos, yeah. It was their garage. Garage, and water is just like streaming yeah. in. And what is the garage connected to? The, the rest of the house. Ex exactly. And is that damage, is the rot making its way back into the house? Right. I mean, it's a, it's an upsetting thing for me. And especially whenever there's kids involved, I get a little well, more fired up. Well, were they going to wait until up. a child fell through? Seriously. Because <laughs> yeah. that's where it's at. It can happen. Now, you shot 12 of 13 episodes. That's Have right. you seen anything that you haven't seen before in your career? Every single place I ever go into <laughs> is it's just so unique. It's kind of like um, there's a psychological background to what's happening. Um, you're really seeing inside how people think by their home, like what their the state of their home. Yeah. It's pretty interesting, especially when you start seeing anything sort of hoarding related, mixing in with home <laughs> that <scares> neglect. Me. <laughs> that scares me too. But um, honestly, the thing I keep coming up against, and it's frustrating for me, is just the complete they're so unaware of what the problem is. It's like, <laughs> you have a 16-month-old child yeah. tottering, uh, toddling around yeah, compound miter saws and hammers and screws and nails and holes in the floor and wires poking up through the floor. This is a 16-month-old child. <laughs> it's like Wile E. Coyote is just going to come in and save the is day, Is this, right? by any chance, Chrissy, a, a future episode uh, that we're seeing that you're playing Maybe. out in your mind here? I think it might, it, yeah. In my mind, it would be the finale. Can I just go back to something that you said last time you were on, which has stuck with me uh, because it's, Good. it's some of the most intelligent <laughs> advice I've ever heard for homeowners. You said, pick your darkest, your dampest, the one room in your house that you're scared to go in because you're worried about what you might find. Yes. Take and a flashlight and go find out what's in that room. And clean it. <laughs> clean it out. Light it up. You love that room because that is probably most likely going to be your mechanical room. Yeah, that's where yeah the hot water tanks are in there, your boilers. You need that stuff yeah. breathing and clean and taken care of too. This is truly the heart of the home. Okay. Well, Christy, thank you so much. Love if you it. want to check out Home Wreckers, it's show. going to be premiering Tuesday, March 22nd at 8.30 on W. Do not miss it. Some great advice. And, well, you get to look inside other people's homes and watch <laughs> their <laughs> mistakes. <laughs> that's, you know, always the best place to learn is from other people's screw-ups. Yeah, you Thanks get to again. feel better. Thanks, yes, guys. And I think your tagline should be, you're hooped. <laughs> That's what you should say every episode. You're hooped. You Michael. are hooped.